Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today is episode 8. We'll also show you how to fade in the uh, score uh, like you see right there. Oops. As you may have noticed, we left that part out of the last episode, so we're going to cover that today in quite a bit of detail. Okay, welcome back to One Man Stream. What we're going to do today is I'm going to build a graphic and then I'm going to uh, do some animations with that graphic and then I'm going to show you how to control those animations through VMix UTC. So this is what we're starting off with. It's, it's very basic. What I did is I just clicked this rectangle button right here. There we go. And I just made a rectangle. And then after I did that, I went up to color and you can make it any color you want. Uh, I chose gray, so we'll make it gray. And then I wanted this outline here. So what I did is under uh, color, and this is, as you can see, it's showing the outline there. Uh, I made it white, and then I made the thickness one. And now, as you can see, well, let's make it a little bit bigger. One doesn't quite do it for me. We'll go ahead and make it two. Okay, and now you can see these two rectangles are the same. That's all I did to make that main rectangle. So the second thing that I did is I created score. And what I did with that is I went back over here uh, to where it says ABC. I made me a little block like this. I chose to center that block. Then I chose impact. And I chose uh, probably not that, but you get the idea. And then I changed the color to white. And then I just did that. And so that's how we got the numbers right here. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. The next part is the team, uh, the team name home. I'll turn that on. And how I did that is I went over here created a text box centered it and I typed in central and then I changed it to impact I believe and one thing that you want to do here when you're making these titles is sometimes you're going to have names, uh, team names that are bigger than other team names. So what you want to make sure you do is you click this drop down box here and you click in, sh uh, put in shrink. So now if I have, let's say, uh, I'm going to see, well, that's not, that's not long enough. Let's go, let's just do this. University of Louisville. And you see how it, it stays confined to that box, but the uh, text continues to get smaller. So that, uh, that is something that you'll, you'll always want to do uh, because what happens is if you don't do that, uh, when you type a text, it's just going to expand past the box and the entire title isn't going to be visible. So that's how we made the, uh, the team text. So I'll get rid of that. There we go. Okay. Now this next part here is the home mascot. And all I did was I brought it in through an image. And then after I brought that image in, I just resized it to make it fit right there. And one thing that I'm going to do with this image, I don't want the whole thing showing like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask it. Okay. So whatever you're masking it with, is what is going to be visible in that image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mask this home mascot mascot image with this main rectangle. So the only the part of this uh, image that I want to see is the part that's going to be right here uh, in this rectangle. So I, I click this on. Okay, it's under effects. And I click mask and I'm going to mask it by this main rectangle and watch what happens. See? Only the part that is within this, only the part that is overlaid with that rectangle is going to show. So this is the part that we're masking right there. Okay, now on the team name here, one thing that I did not mention is you want to go to data and you want to make sure you have this show visible, visible toggle. 
And anytime you have show visible toggle, uh, it's going to allow us to do something with BMix UTC where we're going to be able to turn these images on and off. So we also have another one, a home team mascot name. And we're going to use this in combination with a couple other things uh, it, with our animations. So, um, oh, and one other thing that I wanted to show you that I didn't do before. When we brought in the home score, we have an animated effect on this too. Let's go to home score. All right, and one thing uh, that I do want to mention on this home score right here, we want to make sure that we go up to data change. And we're going to look for home score right here, data change in home score, and we're going to make this zoom fade. So this is what's going to happen anytime that score changes through VMIX UTC, you're going to see that right there. So let me go ahead and turn everything else back on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to BMix UTC and I'm going to show you how to automate this through scripting. All right, now we're back in our main VMix production and this is the graphic that we just created and we're going to be doing the automation now uh, in BMix UTC. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is you've seen me do it many times. I'm going to go up to the widget and I'm going to click uh, button and we're going to make us a button real quick so that we can bring uh, that graphic in and out. So this is going to be show score bug. I'm going to go under scripting. I'm going to go down to the overlay section. Overlay functions, and I like to use this overlay input X. Um, there's an overlay input X in and an overlay input X out. I like to use this overlay input X because this allows us to use it as a like a toggle function. So this is what we're going to be using uh, the test scoreboard automation, and then we're going to bring it in on the uh, third overlay channel. So when I click on it, it's going to appear. When I click on it again, it's going to go away. That's why I like that overlay input X function so much. So let's go ahead and bring it in. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to bring in a widget just to show how the score works. And uh, in one of the previous videos, we know that basketball is one of the pre-populated ones. So we're going to use that. And then we're going to go ahead and map it. We're going to bring in our input and we're going to map it to home score. And then we're just going to call this home score. And click OK. I'm going to resize it, bring it up here. And when I click 2, hopefully it's going to change to 2. Okay, so now when we go up to this part of the score widget right here and we click on 3, you can see that the 3 fades in. Click on 2, we're going to add 2 more to the score. Click on 1, we add 1 more to the score. And that is how uh, that automation works. But we're going to come over here and plus 1, well we're not going to use plus 1 on plus three add three add three home okay and that's going to be some of the automation that we're going to use in just a moment so we're going to tick this box by the plus three and then the link is going to be add three home so that's going to add three points to the home score so let's see how that's going to work. So let's go ahead and create a button. Bring it down here. We'll just call this three pointer. Click OK.
and this is where the automated automation that we just put in uh, comes into play. So right here under link, add three home, and it is case sensitive. It has to be just like you uh, put it uh, on the other on the other button. It has to be identical. So let's click it and see what happens. And sweet, it does add. But something else that I want to do here is uh, let's change some overlay channels here. I'm going to, let's go to the main, to the whole. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to right click on the title editor, and then we're going to turn some things off and on. So uh, we don't want this mascot name to show up until uh, we add some points in. So this is what we're going to do. Execute link. <clears throat> add to home. And now we're going to have to go back over here. Go up here to the uh, home score and click on the plus two. Click on add to home. Click OK. Let's go back to this. So what we're going to do when we add two points, need a couple more script lines in here. We're going to hide, and I believe it's under overlays, so let's look. It's under the title functions, and we're going to be using the set visible on and off function. So set visible off, and then when we start using this uh, toggle visible on off, uh, we have to tell it what uh, part of the input we want that to happen with. And as you can see right now, we have this yellow uh, rectangle there. So we're going to go here. Oh, we got to tell it what input first, dummy. So we're going to go to the uh, test scoreboard automation, and then we click on the T. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the team name off. And then we're going to hit set visible on. Again, under overlays. What was it title? Yeah, set visible on. Same thing. But we're going to turn on now the home mascot name. Okay. And then we're going to leave the timer on. I'm going to do a timer function. And we're going to let that play out for about 4,000 milliseconds, which is a second. And then we're going to go back and we're going to reverse what we did. Okay, so now we're going to set visible off on the mascot. And then we're going to set visible on, on the home team name. And let's just start with that and see how that, see how that works. Okay, so that's how that works. So anytime there's going to be a two points for the home team, it's going to take that away. It's going to bring in their mascot name. It's going to show the points, and then it's going to bring the team name back in again. Okay, so what I decided to do, actually I decided to do it just a little bit differently. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take out, uh, on a three-pointer, we're going to take out the home score. We're going to bring in a plus three graphic in red. We're going to let that sit there for about two seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that plus three graphic out. So we got to go back to set visible X off. Again, we got to make sure we're using the right graphic. That is the plus three. And we got to make sure we designate text. We uh, found that out the hard way at the very beginning of this tutorial. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set visible on. And then we're going to bring the graphic in, and then we're going to set the home score back on. We're going to tell it it's text, 
And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add the three points in. So we do that by the execute link. We've already put in the automation. It was add three home. And remember that that is case sensitive. All right, so let's cross our fingers and click this button and see what happens. All right, looks like it's working. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to doctor the graphic just a little bit because I don't like the way that plus three is showing up. So I'm going to go back into the graphic real quick. And I'm going to click on the plus three. And then I'm going to effects. And I'm going to, oh, it's, effect, it's shadow. And I want to give it just a little bit of a glow. We'll say a medium glow. There we go. And then we're going to save it. And then what we have to do is we have to go back in and reinstall it with those changes. So we're going to go back here. Uh, we just clicked on the, uh, I'll do this a little bit slower. All I did was go to the input. I clicked on the cog. We're going to click change, browse, and then I'm going to hit cancel. So it's going to bring up the image so I know I have the right thing. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to get out of it. Then we're going to come back over here to vMix UTC and we're going to sync it. And now let's see what it looks like. I think that looks better. All right. So uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought um, to do that. I ran into a little bit of problem when I was trying to animate that plus three. Uh, but I like the way this turned out uh, just as well. So on a three pointer, it's going to uh, take out the score. It's going to bring in the plus three. Then it's going to bring the score in and then it's going to change it. And then on the two pointer, it's going to change the home name to the mascot name. And then it's going to uh, I'm going to change that around too. Instead of having the score come in first, I'm going to have the score come in last. So let's click two points and see what happens. All right. Yellow Jackets changes. And I think that's probably a little bit too long for that graphic, but I'll go back and I'll tweak that later. So, all right. So we did learn how to do a lot of things today. We learned, uh, we went back and reviewed on how to bring an overlay in or out. We learned uh, again how to bring in the score uh, button and then how to do some scripting within that button. And then we learned how to do some automation through scripting on the uh, two pointer and three pointer. And I hope you're enjoying this series because I am really having a, a really good time putting these together. Uh, hopefully you'll continue to watch. I should have a new video coming out uh, every Friday. And uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up and a like. And uh, make sure you subscribe so that you are alerted uh, when new videos are posted. Thank you so much.